Hello guys, welcome to the top 5 things you must know as a beginner in Trove video. And yeah, it's a new kind of video, new style and stuff. Like now I don't show you gameplay, just some pictures and I talk and I talk over them. And yeah, since that those pictures cost me like two hours of time, um, join my Discord server please. Like and like, subscribe and stuff. Click on the bell and yeah, let's start with the first one. First one are the best starter classes, and the first one is Candy Barbarian. He is tanky, he is strong, he's a good team player. Like with his ultimate, you can you get a candy drop and that buffs the attack speed and heals everyone near you and yeah yourself too. That's really good. So yeah. The also a good one is Boomeranger. He is good for farming with his bombs. Uh, he is strong in the early game and yeah please use his sword since his bow is bad actually. And yeah, either you pick him or the Candy Barbarian. And yeah, now the second choice, like not really the fir your first choice, is Gunslinger. He's good in Shadow Towers, that's why he is your second choice, but he's bad at grinding dungeons. So that's not really, that's not what you want at the beginning of the game, where you basically grind a lot of dungeons, gems and stuff. So yeah, don't pick him first. But the best XP early game, let's say it's the fourth. Uh, yeah, Bomber Royale is the best XP early game. Like, you get 6000 experience ever on average per game. Then on experience day, that's Saturday, you get 9 to 12k on average. And with, exp with experience potion, that will last one hour, you get 18 to 24k XP, which is really, really good. Like another thing you could do is just grinding dungeons and stuff, but that's not as efficient as this. It's as Bomber Royale, and since Bomber Royale gives you coins, and you can use the coins to exchange it to um, other stuff like mounts and stuff, and you can seal those. And yeah, there's also a good flux making method. If you want more flux making methods, click on the top right corner. Uh, okay. The best mastery in early game. So first thing, try your classes. And if your class reached level 3, play Bomber Royale to surpass the level 4 wall. So your class can become level 9, 12, 7, something like that. Um, buy mounts, allies, boats and stuff in the marketplace worth under 5k to 10k flux. That will give you a lot of mastery. Um, go fishing, unlock, uh, unlock the fish. Unlock rods, rods, allies, and boats, all the stuff. Ring crafting and gardening, please make them to the end. Like gardening is a little bit, bit more expensive, but do ring crafting. That's cheap. It's a good way to make some mastery and also get some rings for your classes. Craft classes, allies, and stuff. Yeah, that explains itself. Just craft everything you can craft because that's good mastery. Um, yeah, best stats on gear, rings, and gems until stellar. So yeah, if something you want on your gear, like on your swords, on your hats and stuff, is attack speed, um, physical damage, and magic damage you want on your gear, ring, and gem, and also for the right class. Um, how you look that? Um, just go to your weapon, the, your character needs, and if it says magic damage, then your character is magic damage based so you also want jump on your gear and ring I don't think you can get it on gems but well you want, uh, you want a lot of jump basically since that's always a good thing uh, yeah max health and max health percent you want that on your gems so you can live longer in shadow towers and normal dungeons and don't need to use your flasks that often okay and the last thing is subscribing to my channel actually, since I'm making tutorials, guides and top 5s that are really useful for beginners and yeah, I'm kind of trying to help you guys, I also answer your questions in the comments and on my discord server, links down in the description and I try to make like short videos and explain my topics well, like this video is just 6 minutes long 
and has a lot of information and stuff and yeah with this kind of style now it's easier for me to make my videos shorter since i would then speak too much and stuff that's why all my other videos are like 10 15 minutes long since i'm just talking and talking and never stopping and yeah of these kind of videos every topic is like one minute long on my top fives and yeah yeah i can speak pretty well on this bye guys and we'll see us in the next video